Hi guys, it's uh, Bill here. Uh, I want to talk to you about something different tonight. Um, a little while back in March, I had bought a scooter, a small 50cc scooter, in the hopes of saving some gas and uh, having some fun. I even tried to start a scooter club, which fell flat on its face. And I went to Sky Motors in Port Ritchie on US 19. And I thought I was dealing with a, re uh, a reputable place and, and, and correct, but I was not correct. Uh, they're not. They're, they will not be. Uh, so I purchased this uh, bike for quite a bit of money. I, I think I was in the $3,800 range by the time I got done. And uh, I had constant problems. The, the name of the, of the product is Gor uh, Gorilla Motor Works uh, Jet Classic. That's the, uh, the, the bike that I bought. And uh, the salesman had offered me a upgrade on the motor to change it from 50 cc's to approximately 90 cc's. And I thought about it, and I remember saying to him, gee, I'm a little bit worried because if they start playing with the motor, you know, sometimes that could just cause disaster. And he assured me that they knew what they were doing and that the parts were directly from the manufacturer. It sounded to me like the manufacturer was even the one putting it in and doing it first. I later found out this is not true. The other thing I later found out was that I was uh, misled when I was told that I'd have a year's warranty. Well, the year's warranty is on parts only, not on labor. Had I known that, I would never purchase. I, uh, I don't believe any human being with a 10 cents of uh, amount of intelligence in their head would buy up, you know, pay for that. That's crazy. But nonetheless, they, the, the uh, Sky Motors tell me that people do it all day with a big smile on their face. I'm not, I'm not buying it. I, I, I know horse shit when it smells what it's. I smell horse shit. I see horse shit, and I call it horse shit because that's what it is, horse shit. That's me. Anyway, uh, so uh, the, the, the scooter had gone back and forth with me a number of times for smaller items. It used to quit, wouldn't start would stop. Uh, I had the windshield adjusted a few times. Uh, I was in the shop more than I was out of the shop. And I only had got it around the March 20th, thereabouts of 13. And then the last Friday of April, I uh, was walking, and nothing to do with the scooter, I was walking to get my mail. And I went off a curb, and I came down flat, and I put a crack in my bone. I, and I could not drive it. I, I, I had no dexterity. I was in terrible pain. So for a good two months to three months, it sat there and it didn't, it didn't drive. Uh, during that time, there was no oil on the ground, no oil leaks. Once in a while, I would just kick it over for a minute or two just to, you know, get things going on it. But we didn't move. It didn't drive. Uh, when I finally felt good enough that I could at least drive it, I drove it down back to the dealer to see if maybe they would want to put it on a lot as a consignment. They declined and said, no, thank you. So then I went on to try to sell it myself. And I had it on eBay twice. And I had it on Craigslist a number of times. And advertisements everywhere. And when it came down to, I was only able to find a guy that would make payments to me. Now, keep in mind, I'm already making payments to a, 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 a real company at very high, high rates uh, for it as it is. But now I have to have somebody else make payments to me what to help me with mine. So we drew up a contract. Uh, I had to leave the scooter in my name, leave the plates in my name, leave the registration in my name, everything in my name uh, until it gets paid, uh, paid off. And so for two weeks, he drove it with no problem. This is after they'd fixed it. They had, you know, fixed it that first time uh, with the uh, blown motor. Uh, so now he has it for two weeks. And lo and behold, the motors took a shit again. Now, the uh, power uh, sports there uh, does not want to deal with it. Now they say, well, we'll t the warranty says you're only going to get the parts and you have to pay us labor. Well, that was never told to me, as I said before. If anybody had said before my money went on the table or I signed a contract for the money on the table, there had been no signature and no money. I'd have picked my ass up and got it out of there so fast to make a head swim. But allegedly, they're, they're, they say they said that. Well, I didn't hear it. Because if I heard that, I'd never buy that fucking piece of shit. Never. But that's neither here nor there at this point. Then, here's a real kicker. Here's a real kicker. 
when I mentioned to the to the manufacturer about the uh, extended motor from them allegedly, so I was told their parts, their thing, they flip out even more and say, "Oh, now we're not going to have any warranty. There's not going to cover the parts or anything else. You're not allowed to touch the motor." Wasn't that interesting? Who sold me the the upgrade? I didn't know about it. I had no clue whatsoever that anything like that existed. But my salesman said, hey, would you like to have it a little bit faster? Give me another $550 and we're going to do this for you. And I bought it. I said, okay, that sounds good. I was concerned. I did say to him, I just hope that, you know, when they start playing with motors, sometimes it could be a real disaster. And Oh, no, no, no. They know their stuff. They do this all day long. It's fine, fine, fine. Well, it blew up in 200 miles with me. And then about another 200 miles, it blew up again. So that's how well they know. Then they're, they're conveniently, conveniently, now there's no oil. There's no oil in the, which puts all the blame on, on, on the owners here. Do I buy it? No, not at all. I think it's convenient. And I, I think it's just something they can hang their hat on and say, well, there's no oil, so it's not our fault. No. There was a time when I was at a group where they said they thought it was burning oil, and I brought it back down to Power Sports Motors the very next day, and they told me no such thing was working fine. Shortly after that is when I broke my bone, and it sat for two months, and there was no oil on the ground. That I can swear to you, because I, if I ever saw a drop on the ground, I would have had them up there, or I would have had it taken down to them in two seconds. Let's face it, I brought it in to have the windshield fixed, for crying out loud. I sure as hell would bring it in for some oil, wouldn't I? So, now we were at a uh, situation where uh, I don't know how it's going to get fixed. I, I had this other fellow buying it. He's buying it on time, but he doesn't have a lot of money. I don't have a lot of money. Uh, I guess the only thing I can warn you guys is, do not buy Gorilla Motor Works products of any kind, anywhere, anyhow, any day. And stay away from Sky Power Sports. I thought I was dealing with reputable people, but there's, it's, I was not treated reputably. I was screwed. I was fucked, it, uh, fucked up the ass from here to China. That's what I was. And uh, I, have to, I have to sit there and take it. It's not, it's not nice, but it's, I have to take it. And uh, I'm very unhappy. I'm, I am going to put in a, a, biz, a better business report uh, on them, negatively, obviously. Um, but I want to do as much as I can, whatever media I can. I want to see if we can't really put an impact on their business and slow it down and uh, let them pay for, you know, let them let them take reap the responsibilities of what, they, uh, what their behavior was with me because it's dead wrong. Their behavior is dead wrong, completely. A to Z, top to bottom, wrong, disgraceful. Well, anyway, that's my message for tonight. Uh, pass the word on. Tell everybody if you want to get into the scooters or the water sports or four-wheelers or whatever, avoid uh, the Sky Power Sports. Avoid them like a plague. Don't be going there. Find another place. Go someplace else. And avoid this uh, Gorilla Motor Works. Oh, I don't think they make watercraft. I think they only make scooters. But avoid them like the plague because uh, they're not standing up. For them to put out a, a, a warranty for one year on parts only and, not, and no labor is disgraceful. And if they could do that with a straight face, then they shame on them. They should burn in hell. That's where they ought to be because that's shameful. That is just really shameful for them to do that. That's disgusting. Absolutely disgusting, and they're wrong. They're dead wrong. So anyway, that's my message for tonight. Let's pass it on. I appreciate it. if you guys could, anybody out there, let's just spread it. Let's go viral. This is one thing we need to go viral all the way across and just slam them and slam them and slam them and slam them until they wake up and smell the coffee. And maybe they will and maybe they won't, but by God, we got to slam them and slam them good. And let them know that this shit isn't right. But at any rate, uh, that's what we're doing. That's what tonight's all about. And uh, please pass it on. Please uh, 
send it to anybody you can, and uh, let's get it going. God bless. Bye-bye.